welcome everyone now we will solve a problem of a bead which is sliding along a smooth wire through lagrange equation of motion so a bead slide along a smooth wire bent into the shape of a parabola and the equation of this parabola is z equals to c r square this bead rotates in a circle of radius capital r when the wire is rotating about a vertical axis so this wire is rotating uh, with the vertical axis axis with constant angular velocity omega so we need to find out the value of c constant in this equation of parabola through lagrange equation of motion so we have z equals to c r square so we can write uh, kinetic energy of this system kinetic energy of this bead moving in a circle t will be equals to half m x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square so we can convert this equation into r and theta plane polar coordinates we have equation of constraint z equals to c r square the bead is restricted to move on this circle of radius r so we have x equals to r cos of theta y equals to r sin theta and z equals to equation of constraint is c r square so we can use these values to find out kinetic energy in terms of plane polar coordinates r and theta and we can eliminate this constraint by z equals to c r square so kinetic energy will be half m x dot square will be uh, by product rule r dot cos of theta plus r as it is derivative of cos theta with respect to time will be minus sin theta theta dot so it square plus y dot square y dot will be r dot sin theta plus r as it is sin theta will be cos theta theta dot and then plus z dot square c is constant so it will be 2 c r r dot so now uh, kinetic energy will be half m taking square r dot square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta theta dot square minus 2 times r dot r cos of theta sin theta theta dot and then square of this term plus r dot square sin square theta plus r square cos square theta theta dot square plus 2 times r dot r cos theta sin theta and theta dot and the last term uh, as it is plus 2 c r r dot so we can see uh, this first term can be combined with this taking common r dot square this cos square theta plus sin square theta will be 1 this term can be combined with this term taking common r square theta dot square sin square theta cos square theta will be 1 these two terms will be cancelled out so we can further simplify kinetic energy half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square plus 2 c r r dot so this is the kinetic energy of this bead similarly we need to find out potential energy mg potential energy will be mgz the bead is moving along z axis so we have mg substituting the value of z which is cr square 
so it will be mgcr square so now lagrangian of this system which is the difference of kinetic energy and potential energy substituting the values of kinetic energy and potential energy so lagrangian will be kinetic energy is half m r dot square r dot square plus r square theta dot square plus 2 c r r dot minus potential energy uh, we haven't open this square z dot square derivative of z with respect to time is 2 c r r dot so again its square is we need to open this square so this is square term 2 c r r dot is the derivative of z so it is square term minus potential energy of this system is mg mg c r square so this is lagrangian we can see the lagrangian is in two generalized coordinates r and theta so there will be two equations of motion with respect to r and theta and also the wire is rotating with angular frequency omega that is constant angular frequency so we can link theta with omega t with angular frequency so theta dot will be uh, sorry theta dot will be omega theta dot which is d d theta over dt so it will be omega and omega is constant the wire is rotating with constant angular frequency omega so if it is constant then its time derivative will be zero so it means theta double dot will be zero so replacing theta dot with omega the lagrangian will be half m r dot square plus r square omega square plus this term 4 c square r square r dot square minus m g c r square so now this equation is converted to one generalized coordinate r due to this condition so we can find out lagrange equation of motion d by dt partial l over partial r dot minus partial l over partial r so d by dt partial l over partial r dot will be m r dot m r dot plus 2m from this term 2m c square plus half m is with this factor so derivative of this factor with respect to r dot it will be 8 c square r square r dot minus partial l over partial r derivative will be due to second third and fourth term so it will be half m is with all first three factors half m is with first three factors so it will be half m derivative of r square omega square with respect to r will be 2 r omega square 
and then due to this term minus half m eight c square eight c square r r dot square as it is and again minus and this minus will be plus plus mg 2 mg cr equals to 0 so now taking time time derivative mr double dot plus this 2 will be cancelled out so it will be 4 m c square constant applying product on r square r dot so r square as it is derivative of r dot will be r double dot plus again this constant 4 mc square derivative of this r square will be 2r with respect to r dot so it will be 2r r dot and r dot as it is Minus this two will be cancelled out. M R omega square minus two cancelled out minus four M C square R R dot square plus two M G C R equals to zero. Or M R double dot plus four M C square R square R double dot plus this term will be eight M C square R R dot square minus M R omega square minus four M C square R R dot square plus two M G C R equals to zero. So we can divide this equation over mass. as the bead is moving 